Hey, Fordass here in another new location. I'm kind of making a habit of that. But anyway, a week or so ago, my train horn video got about 100,000 views in four days, which hopefully kicked me over 1,000 subscribers. So I thought it deserved an encore. This next build is for whenever you feel the handheld air horns just a bit too rational. We have the truly handheld train horn. Let's get in. pressure air tank designed to hold a working pressure of four and a half thousand psi normally meant for air guns and paintball and things like that and this here is the primary regulator this kicks down the four and a half thousand psi in the tank to one and a half thousand out of this regulator and then this here is the secondary regulator as well as the on and off switch it again kicks down the one and a half thousand psi of the primary down to zero to about 300 psi out of this one that then leads into a standard air compressor air gun which acts as the main valve which then through various fittings goes into the train horn itself. It's fairly well balanced as this tank is remarkably heavy so it actually isn't that unwieldy despite how it may look. And compared to the old one made from a fire extinguisher it's a lot smaller. So now that you know how it works I think it's time to test it. Okay so the first test I'm going to do I want to get some kind of data so I'm going to use this sound level meter to roughly measure how loud this thing actually is. So we've got it set to max settings so it'll simply record the loudest uh, that it receives. Just place it here. So I'll turn up the pressure and give it a rip. Not bad. 128.6. Now, not quite the 150 that they advertise. That's still really bloody loud. Next, I'm going to give it a blast from way down there, which is about 50 yards away. So besides the fact that I can't think of any actual legitimate use for something like this, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.